We're not far out of Van Wert, Ohio. We're in a little town called Delphus. You might have heard of it. It's where Umverfurth Manufacturing has a lot of their equipment. We're here with Sean Gerdeman, though. Sean's week three winner of feeding farmers in the field. First of all, Sean, congratulations. And you uh, not only farm, but you do some work down the road. Yes, uh, my passion is farming and uh, went to Ohio State. Ended up uh, working at Umberfirth Manufacturing in Kaleida. And uh, so it's a good marriage between uh, farming and uh, working with farm equipment during the daytime. Now when we look at some of the uh, the farm operation give us an idea how the crops go in this spring. The crops went in beautiful uh, corn just popped out of the ground we were able to get a beautiful seed bed put in uh, however when uh, the June rains hit uh, it did its damage but uh, amazingly enough uh, frankly speaking Dale we can't complain because the beans um, are in the 60s and the corn is all over the board over the tile lines um, you know it's 170 and uh, in between the tile it's uh, barely making a hundred so but uh, can't complain it's coming off dry and uh, in the tiled fields it's going to bring the average up. Yeah. Put that in perspective though how much is the corn down from a year ago? Uh, I would say uh, 80 to 100 bushel. Yeah that's pretty tough when you figure you put everything into it that you put into last year's crop and then some. Absolutely, and uh, you know, you can't beat Mother Nature. You try everything you can to uh, uh, put a, put the crop in the ground, but uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Now, with the uh, grain cart behind us and your harvest system, you're able to keep track of how much corn comes out of each field. That benefits you in a couple ways. Tell us more. It does. Uh, in my situation, I feed all the corn that I produce, so I'm able to... Uh, keep track of, of that corn with the, uh, it's called a U-Harvest system that uh, Underfirth produces and uh, it's got a, a tablet or an isobus terminal and it'll capture, this cart has a moisture sensor on it and it'll capture the moisture. I can uh, save uh, what's coming out of each field for landlord sp splits, etc. And uh, I'll have that history from last year, from this year, future years so that uh, uh, I've got that data and we've got a, uh, a cloud account called Slingshot that all this data goes up into the cloud and, and you can manage your data appropriately. Let's talk a little bit about the cattle. What weight do they come in? Um, the cattle range from three to four hundred when I get them in. Uh, groups of 80. That way I can pull two contracts together. Uh, contracts ship out uh, about 34 head per semi and uh, the overage we'll use for uh, freezer beef, which uh, we've done for, uh, you know, the family. My dad, uncle, grandpa have done freezer beef uh, for a long, long time, so. And a salute to Grandpa Gerdeman. He passed away this past year. In this area, though, he was the legend in the Ohio Farm Bureau, known nationally as well, and a lot of uh, your early days were with Grandpa. Actually, yes. Um, Earl Gerdeman uh, was a, uh, an instrument part of an instrumental part of agriculture uh, in the area and in the state and uh, Earl taught VOAG at Lincoln View for almost 40 years. My, my dad taught VOAG for 40 years. Um, he, uh, Earl was a great guy. Um, <clears throat> deeply missed. Earl never had a stranger and uh, we appreciate uh, uh, the opportunity to uh, uh, discuss the uh, Earl situation. So. Well, Sean Gerdeman's our week three winner of feeding farmers in the field. A lot of the field work's done. The cattle's work is never done, and we'll have lunch in a little bit. We're just outside of Delphus with week three's winner, Sean Gerdeman.